Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make a tune shader in Blender Eevee. Let's get started. Add a monkey head. Go to the Modifiers tab and add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. Set the viewport level to 2 and apply the modifier. Right-click and make Shade Smooth. Press Shift-D to duplicate the monkey head. Press Z key and switch to Rendered Preview. Click the Render Properties tab and switch the render engine to Eevee. Ensure that Ambient Occlusion is enabled. Add a Sunlight. Click the lamp icon and set the sunlight strength to 4. Adjust the sunlight angle as you wish. Switch the Timeline Editor to the Shader Editor. Select the first monkey and click the new button to add a material. Set the base color as you wish. Select the second monkey and add new material. We want it to look like a cartoon character. To do that, delete the principled shader and add a diffuse shader. Add a color ramp. Plug the shader node into the factor node. As you can see, the line becomes red. It means we need to convert the shader into RGB color data. Add a shader to RGB converter node and drop it between the nodes. Plug the color ramp into the material output. So, we can control the shadow and light areas on the monkey with the color ramp. To have a cartoony look, switch the interpolation type to constant. Select the white color ramp and slide it to the left side. So, we can control the shadow areas. On the viewport, hit the double R key to rotate the monkey head. As you can see, the shadow areas change depending on the sunlight angle. We can also change the color. Select the white color stop and set it as you wish. Select the black color stop and set it darker than the first one. Click the Render Properties tab and scroll down to the Color Management section. Switch the View Transform from the Filmic to Standard, so we can display the colors better. Alright, let's make outlines. Select the Cartoony Monkey, go to the Modifier tab and add a Solidify modifier. Set the Thickness value to negative 0.01. Open up the Normal section and flip the Normals. Go to the Material Properties tab and click the plus icon to add a new material slot. Click the new button to add material. Select the base color to black. Scroll down to the Settings panel and enable the back face culling. Go back to the Modifier tab, open the Material panel and set the Material Index to 1. That's it. We can adjust the outline thickness by the thickness value. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.